and welcome to a buzz brought to you by the Peters Township Public Library. I am Miss Shannon. And I'm Miss Linda, and we're here once again to give you information about what's going on in January at the library. Yes. Burr. It's, I don't want it to be January. I know. Yeah. That's one of my least favorite times of the are year. Are we twinning? We are twinning, and it's an unplanned twin. Unplanned. We don't tell each other, we've said it before, we don't tell each other anything about <laughs> what we're going to do, <laughs> right? So sometimes Pretty it's much. a really special Pretty coincidence, much. which today, so we matched yeah. both in our green. Mm -hmm. and Must um, be luck, the luck of the Irish, very lucky. Yeah. Are you Irish? I am. Me too. Yeah. Well, my so, name's Shannon, which everything in Ireland apparently is also Yeah, it Shannon. is. Name, yeah. Bars, airports. stores, airports, streets. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's all good. So, all right. So we're going to be in the middle of winter. So shall we, should we dress like. Dress appropriately. Yeah, we have to dress appropriately. Okay. So what did you bring to So I brought to this warm? from my, the costume swap. My, uh, I think it's a fox. I think it's a fox. It's pink. Yeah, well. So that's good. I was going to wear mine. It's also made for, I think, like, you know, a small child, but yeah, I, it fits. Well, you, yeah, I got a little head. Yes, you the do. The gloves are something else, though. I'm not sure if they're going to fit me or not, but I'll try. Okay. Times are tough. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I have to go outside and Aww. shovel the snow, and my gloves don't fit. Aww. I'm sorry. Let's get you gloves. But I like the color of them. Yeah, I do too. It works. Snowball Just party! A what? Snowball fight. Oh, that, well, not until I get dressed. Well, first I was going to do mine from the um, swap. But listen to this voice. This is from being at Bambino's this morning. Uh, yelling uh, at, uh, yelling above at all the children. kids that were more excited that Santa was coming on after Miss Linda. So I'm like, <laughs> how, how do I? Uh, she was the Santa Claus pre-show. It's that. better than the after show. Yeah. No, they would, you would not have no. had them at all. Okay, so I decided to bundle up in Steelers garb. Um, even though this is January, this will be January. I don't know if we'll have any games left or not, but ever the optimist. So mm -hmm. I decided I'm going Steelers. And so then to even be more optimistic and helpful that if maybe it'll be good luck if I, this is going to be my scarf. It's stuck on your ball in your yeah. head. Yeah. Well, I got, it's got problems with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there okay. will be my it scarf. It could have made a good bib too, maybe for the next episode. Yeah, yeah. I'll switch it around and eat. <laughs> But then I th found this in my thing um, that was a gift a couple years ago. I didn't know we are having show and tell this morning. We are. <laughs> we are. But you know me. I don't like the cold. No. I really don't. That's and like I a tribe be blanket, right. but it's not entirely I used to be all right with it. You know, like I used to ski and go sledding and do all of that. Now it's like, darn it, does it have to get that cold? But I'm not, not the part where I want to, like, leave Pennsylvania or anything. And... What is that? Is that a blanket or a shawl? It's or? a shawl. But I use it. I've it looks like it tried really hard to be a blanket, but then it goes too short. Well, like I somebody like messed up. <laughs> I <laughs> cut it too <laughs> small. Oops. Oh, I guess it's I now guess. they're going to call this a shawl. Because yeah. it's too, too wide to be a scarf and too short to be a oh. blanket. Wait, I just oh, you have bling, bling on there. I do, but look at it. I just found something in my glove. <laughs> is there like a <laughs> fake nail in there? That's disgusting. A oh, quarter! That's like a magic trick. <laughs> oh, that's right. Now we're performing magic. <laughs> Why is there a quarter in your glove? Uh, that's exciting. See? Now Thanks. you can go. To, maybe you were prepared at Aldi's Here. for your shopping it just cart. just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can make it reappear later. Yeah. Right? Pull it so, out. So yes, ear. this is my. So I am well, going to be until I start sweating. Last time, remember, you like always the first have one to out, try to outdo me, Miss Linda. I'm not in surprised. In last, yeah, the December one. Yeah, when I almost set myself on fire with our Christmas <laughs> lights, you had to unplug them. <laughs> and while I was talking, I'm like, it's burning me. I feel like it's burning. <laughs> been in the tanning bed too long. All right. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll survive January. Okay. Well, good luck. All right, thanks. Moving on. <laughs> Library news up. from around the globe. Where are we going? Iceland? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no, this is actually for everybody all over the world. This is about New Year's and New Year's traditions. Oh, well, I love New Do Year's. Do you make New Year's traditions? Yes. Do they last more than two weeks? Oh, you're mean resolutions? Resolutions. Yeah, what I say? Traditions. traditions. That's resolutions. Different. Yeah, I, I'm really Oh, I have New that. Year's traditions too, but no, resolutions. Okay. Yeah, I have a, had a friend put on Facebook. He said um, he was going to do, he was going to open a business for New Year's and it was going to contain all of this exercise equipment for, and, 
it for the first two weeks in January, and then he was going to close it and take it all away because that's when people are done yeah, with their uh, resolutions. Well, because like, it'll be a two-week business. And they always have all that stuff like advertised too in the stores, like right after Christmas. It's so yeah, I know. It's well, it's yeah. True. I try to be well. We'll talk about it. I try to be conscientious of of resolutions when I make them. I don't, you know, I don't know why I make them because every year I think, well, I I want to have more time to do this or to do that or slow down or lose 300 pounds and you know well it, but my, and if it can't happen in two weeks why bother? i have a tradition that goes along with resolutions what's that so don't I make only, them I, well i only did no <laughs> i only did it once so it's not really a tradition but well, i was going to make it in tradition but i never did but i always host new year's eve and the yeah. one year we pl i had ahead of time i had everybody send me a new year's resolution and then we played a game where we had to guess who picked what oh funny so like I posted them all. Yeah. And then you had to like guess who, and of course there's prizes because I don't believe in games without prizes. Yeah. Dumb prizes, but yeah, maybe I'll do it again this year. That would be so fun. And you know what? I would be the one, I'd like to come up with, my New Year's resolution is to go to Africa and count gorillas. You know, something crazy. Well, that'd be realistic, but I guess well, you're not. Well, it could, it could happen. Okay, you go. All you, right. You go, Jane Goodall. <laughs> Why not? Oh, okay. Well, I've got books on her, so. <laughs> okay, so New Year's resolutions. I actually have a really good one for the toddlers. And then um, I'm going to talk about more um, resolutions. Toddler resolutions? For parents. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why? Well, hey, toddlers can make resolutions. I'm not going to eat lollipops for a day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's All right, New Year's it. resolutions are important at the end of the year. It is common for people to make New Year's resolutions. Some people opt out of this tradition because it can be a challenge to keep those resolutions throughout the new year, and no one wants to feel undefeated. So, you know, when you're not keeping it for more than 24 hours or two weeks, sometimes you try hard. Mm. Anyway, New Year's resolutions can also feel silly at times. But... It's important for all of us to embark on this challenge this upcoming year. So I'm going to challenge all you too. All right, too. I'm ready. All right, why are they important? Because coming up with resolutions forces us to reflect on our actions during the past year. So my resolution might be not to be crappy during the next year or mean to somebody or whatever. You are We're, always so mean. Am I? Mm -hmm. I am. I'm an, yeah. notorious for that. I am, aren't I? God, I'm driving them away, I'm telling you. <laughs> when, <laughs> when you decide to make a resolution, you are deciding that you need to change something about yourself. And this self-reflection is very important for everyone. So, okay, we'll have to spend some time self-reflecting before New Year's Day. Okay. Once we decide that we need to change something, creating resolution allows us to challenge ourselves to change in the upcoming year. So we can do this. And I, and I think that as we get older, our resolutions change of what's important or yeah, not important. Right. Yeah. Okay, so how can librarians help patrons achieve their New Year's resolution, you may ask? Put well, out book displays on how to eat healthy. Yeah, we do that. we've got the answers. When it comes to making New Year's resolutions, we've got this. We're going to keep them fresh in people's minds. We're going to remind you that the library, our library, our Peters Township Public Library is a great resource to help keep you on track. And you were right, the first one. Like, say you want to cook healthier meals because you want to quit eating crap, right? What do we have? So you come in and, you know, find your nutritional uh, knowledge in books and your cooking skills. Um, and I'm going to talk about some of in, um, throughout the, this segment, um, some online resources that we have. Oh. Another popular one, finding time to exercise. Mm -hmm. I've got a million excuses of why I don't have time. You know, I try. I like it. Like yesterday, I went to. The, I feel so good after I've been to the gym, but it's just a matter of like dragging my butt. Okay, so if you can't find the time to exercise and you feel like, well, I can't get out to the gym, uh, we have DVDs. So get yeah. a DVD. Learn yoga. Yeah. Learn yoga. You could do it in the the privacy of your own home, so nobody cares what you look like when you're doing downward dog, <laughs> right? <laughs> It doesn't matter. Got some crazy visuals going it on right now. <laughs> it doesn't matter, right? It's, it's between you and your TV. 
Okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Let's move on on that one. <laughs> I have to choke first. Okay, spending more time with the family. That's another good yep. one with the libraries because we offer so many programs in our department. Right. You can come in and do, oh my gosh, December was so full of family programs. It was. A lot Families of fun. were in making ornaments and edible treats and doing. Looking for elves. Looking for elves and WQED programs. Mm -hmm. And we offer so much for you to do with your families. Right. You know, and especially as I'm sweating putty balls right here in January when it's you know Cold. you're looking for things to do yeah you know right. it's get out of the house because you you know you get to a point in the winter months that you're like crawling the walls mm -hmm. and um it's crazy yeah bring them to the library plus we have a fun play area um and oh I like this one too find it's finding the inner DIYer like learn to make things or learn yeah. to you know crochet or um what else like so we have sewing machines right you can do that we, do. we, have, we 3D have printers um, you could make different learn how to make things on that the, the embroidery machines we've got embroidery yeah. machines that's true i forgot about that Ooh, i know i, I wish that. i would have thought i wonder yeah so you think it's hard to learn no but we i can quickly I saw embroider a cute something. little like wedding gift on that maybe i can use that was you take a um it's like a shower gift, like yeah. a little small gift. But you take like a handkerchief and you make yeah. it say for ugly crying. Like but you embroider like ugly oh, crying. Oh, funny. Oh, Isn't that's that cute? cute. Maybe I'll try it out. Oh, and I was just thinking, that's funny you should say that because I was thinking handkerchiefs too because mm -hmm. my husband Tim cracks me up. I'm always like digging for, you know, Kleenex. Always pulls out his little mandy handkerchief. Yeah, my dad always has yeah, his Yeah, it cracks too. me up. I thought, oh, I should like monogram some or something. Yeah. That'd be fun. Can we get say something? I've got to leave you? now. <laughs> Chris <laughs> is only a few days away. <laughs> Go upstairs and use yeah. the embroidery so machine. So those are that's all about New Year's resolutions that's fun. and how we can be, how we as a library can be useful for um, making those happen. And as we go along, and, and when we're sharing books and stuff, I'm going to be sharing some things about that. Okay. Awesome. All right. I love it. Onward. Yeah. There you go. All right. Happy 2019, everybody. We've got to, we've, yeah, let's try to do the show in five minutes or less before I, I'm going to start dripping here. <laughs> this really works. Okay, go <laughs> She's ahead. She's bundled up. Go ahead. Okay, so the first big program we have of 2019 is our adult only 18 and over Harry Potter escape room. Oh. And um, it's going to be held on January 5th. And actually, it the program is entirely full. It filled up, I think, before even. December hit pretty much yeah. and um, we so but it's still being posted places so please you can still sign up but you're on you have to be on a wait list so you cannot show up that day for it um, we're gonna be signing people in at the doors so um, we do have a wait list though so feel free to try to get yourselves on that um, and it, or if you have a group and your group size has changed in any way um, please let us know as soon as possible so we can hopefully get some of our wait list people um, yeah. in a group as well so but we're really excited about it I mean our teen one was our biggest program of the summer mm -hmm. and that's why we did the adult one because so many adults wanted to come to the teen one mm -hmm. so um, it's gonna be a lot of fun that is it's so exciting that even the staff put together uh, a, a team, a team. Mm -hmm. yeah so we're gonna have a blast you know so we're like we may be stuck in there forever but we're gonna have a lot of fun. Well, we're gonna kick you out within a half hour, whether you figure it out. Oh, or not. really? Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> There's hope that I do get out. Okay. Yeah. All right. We can't lock you in the library forever. We All have right. to move on to the next group. Okay. <laughs> yeah. True. True. Okay. That that's good. Okay. So Maker Mondays. What's going well, on? Well, we the just New talked Year? about New Year's resolutions about doing stuff, but Maker Mondays is geared um, towards the like the tween group between say like fourth and sixth-ish grade, even in the middle school, to come over after school on a Monday. From four o'clock on, we put some stuff out and it just all um, kill the boredom and kill the, you know, the unboards, the give you something to do, something to unwind, something to um, just to ha 
get through winter, get through yeah, January. Some neat little but things. also and neat things. The big thing today is is maker spaces and, and getting out there and doing things on your own and, and creating mm -hmm. yourself. Using so gadgets, we're not gonna sit different there stuff. and stare at you and tell you how to do or not to do. It's all about us putting out stuff for you to be creative, and we've got some really fun things. So hoping that, um, I think my New Year's resolution is to get this Maker Monday really going strong. I think it's, yeah. a, it's a fun it's a opportunity. Idea. Just come mm -hmm. and hang out after school. I'll even feed you. Yeah, we'll feed them. Okay. All right. Okay, <laughs> so Maker, so it's always the first Monday of the month, so January 7th, and from 4 to 4.45. So four. 45 minutes, hang out, do some fun things, and... Yeah, I love it. Oh. So we'll see you for Maker Monday. And then coming up, we always do our um, WQED nights. It's usually always the second um, Thursday of the month. So in January, we're gonna be doing the TV series Odd Squad, mm -hmm. um, which is about like a group of actually like tweens and kids that are kind of like detectives. And it's live action, it's not animated. And it's a lot of fun. I've seen a couple of different episodes of it throughout the year. So we're gonna do Odd Squad on January 10th. We actually have an Odd Squad rug at the library too. Mm -hmm. It's always fun when the kids come in, they're like, Odd Squad! We know Odd Squad. So that will be on January 10th um, at 6.30. So that's another, again, family event. So the whole family can come, whether they're, you know, doesn't matter the age group. But the, and Odd Squad kind of has a wide range of an audience too because it is live action. Um, so a lot of kids really enjoy that one. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. I was gonna say they enjoy that one, but anything that we've done with WQED, it's mm -hmm. always it's just such a hit. Yeah, and, th and that one we have some really cool stuff we're giving away too, some oh, really cool, cool Odd Squad paraphernalia. Cool, they're, they're, they rock there, they're a lot of fun. Pause for reading, I have to tell you this funny thing, not funny thing, actually cool. Pause for reading is our program that, you know, we, we have the therapy dogs come and, you know, the kids sign up for a little 20 minutes time slots and come and sit with the dogs and and read to them or pet them or just stare at them you know get familiar familiarity with dogs but also comfortable with their reading my dentist just got a puppy and it's a different what breed was it it was something that I don't and I don't remember but cute as a button is it got it last Monday when I oh, showed wow. up for my dentist appointment a week early I said how often does that happen I said I like <laughs> you so much here I showed up for my appointment a week early I'm like darn it but I only live down the street but they have the puppy and they're training it to become a therapy dog oh, that's they're a gonna, lot of work it is a lot of work and they're going to start doing that as a matter of fact Katie Ka went in and met them with a dog and did a little news thing on oh, them cool. mm -hmm, about doing that I said and that's what I told him I said that's a lot of work because we work with these therapy mm -hmm. dogs and it's They're a amazing, lot of training yeah. Yeah. and um, legalities and like different pieces in order to at least be official you know within the therapy dog um, right. organizations right you know to be official. therapy dog international yeah so uh, it's really cool anyway of course we have another one coming up they're always the second Saturday of the month in the mornings and it goes from 10 to 11 20 all they have to all you have to do is call and sign up uh, uh, pick a 20 minute slot and bring your kids and, and I love it even when like kids come in that maybe were unaware of it or didn't sign mm -hmm. up nine well, times yeah, out of ten see a dog in the library the, yeah yeah <laughs> who doesn't love a dog and these right. dogs are so well trained yeah and so oh, wonderful so much the train the the owners are 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 just as nice and mm -hmm. generous so yeah it's a lot of fun come sure. read to the dogs it's a good new year's resolution yeah start reading and it is go out it's a really yeah, and again nice thing to do to get out on a cold on a cold saturday morning what else are you going to do if sports aren't going on and you know, go, I know. go and read it to the dog in the library. Exactly. Come hang. Well, one thing that's not on our list of notes here, but I wanted to make sure I talked about it because um, I must have forgotten when I was doing this, but it's a, it's an exciting event. So, so looking into January, what is probably the most highly anticipated thing that is going on in the city of Pittsburgh in January? Winterfest. No, this is only like, this has never happened before, this particular event. It has not happened in Pittsburgh anyways. An event that has not happened in Pittsburgh? But is coming to Pittsburgh. Is Something is coming to Pittsburgh in January that's very highly anticipated. 
Is it that when that you're going? Huh? <laughs> People were all over crazy getting tickets to this event. People oh, dropped oh, a lot oh, of money oh, for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Hamilton. Hamilton, we're yes. The Hamilton. So, 5,000. Ha well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, there'll be Spend a lot of people. Spend your entire there. salary on. Um, no, One paycheck and you're in. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, it's um, worth it. Conveniently, we're excited. Hamilton's birthday actually falls in January. Okay. So not only are people in the community and throughout Pittsburgh really excited because Hamilton is coming to Pittsburgh mm -hmm. and I have talked to teens, a lot of my kids are are blessed enough that they're going to get to go or they're getting gifts, they're getting tickets as their Christmas presents mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, but regardless if they're going or not, I know already that we have a high amount of Hamilton teen fans in our community because mm -hmm. of other programs mm -hmm. we've done. So we are going to have a birthday party, because who doesn't love a birthday? And cake. Okay, well I like all the fun stuff about it. Yeah. yeah I do. Birthday, we're gonna have a birthday party right. for Hamilton on Friday, January 11th, after school from 3.30 to 4.30. So come into the teen room, we'll have some Hamilton trivia. We're gonna have oh, either fun. cake or cupcakes for Hamilton. Um, and list, of course, the music will be playing, and that actually falls right when it, it will be in town. Oh, so, fun, and I love um, that music. Is, I know, oh, it's that so is, fun. I can't so, wait to see it. Um, Friday, January 11th, teens, this is for teens, um, from 3.30 to 4.30, come into the teen room and um, help us celebrate Hamilton's birthday. And there'll Absolutely. be free cake or cupcakes involved, so what more do you want? That's right, just put that in your New Year's resolution. Must yes. eat cupcakes Fridays after school. Yes. Right? And right, do it at a fun library event. Right. Yes. There you go. So January. Oh, good. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, yeah. that's a fun one. I'm that excited. That will be about fun. That. I'm excited about the whole Hamilton thing as well. Oh yeah, it's gonna be crazy. It is. It's all good. Yep. Very good. Okay. So our programs are starting. Um, our toddler tales mm -hmm. and our preschool story times and all that will be starting up on January 7th. So if you're not already signed up for those, um, our programs do work in sessions. So we ask people that they sign up for every single session, mm -hmm. not every single week, not week, right? But every season. So like we have winter programs. So you sign up once for those. We had our fall programs. You sign up once for those. Mm -hmm. So if you were already signed up for fall. We would like you to sign of up course. again for the winter, so that way we know that you're still coming and how, how to plan accordingly for right. our attendance. Right, just gives us an approximate head count because yeah. we, you know, do different things, and we'd like to, you know, we know you're not going to be able to necessarily make it every week, right? Because, especially in the winter. Yeah, because yeah, you know, yeah, especially in the winter, it's cold, this, that, Kids are you sick. know, weather, whatever. Um, but it gives us a general ballpark, right? If we're going to have five thousand yeah. or 3,300. Another you know? really important reason to sign up, but especially in the winter, is that it gives us your contact. So sometimes because of the weather, oh. we do have to cancel programs um, every now and then that does happen. And we want to be able to let you know so that way you don't decide to uh, come out and, and dare the storm for the sake of not missing your you know, mother story time. Right. Good point. Yeah, it's not worth it. I mean, we know that the programs are wonderful and people love to come, but it's certainly not worth risking. Yeah, and we um, have had to cancel because of that reason yeah, before. Yeah, not risking your safety. So, excellent. Yeah. All righty. So, you have a book to share? I do. Well, yes, I'm doing a New Year's resolution thing. Oh, right. I like your really nice stationery. I did this on purpose. <laughs> I did this on purpose. Are you purpose. hoping you don't have a crappy year? Yeah, this was my my little my little Christmas goodie from Miss Shannon and those little poop things. What are they? Poop, poop emojis. Poop emojis. I feel like everybody needs a poster with poop emojis on it. Thanks. But All only right. only select people got those, so you should feel special. I'm really honored. Okay, so I will not have a crappy year. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so what I decided was, and I can just do mine. I'm gonna do the well. I'll just do a couple, then we'll go back and forth because what I wanted to do this segment was some online tools for make, you know for new year's resolutions. Okay. Okay. So, let's start with learn a new language. Oh, whether okay. it's Spanish, Russian, French, German, whatever. We've got online resources, online Muzzy for the kids. Yep. And Mango for the adults. And guess what? All free. Don't have to pay. It just yep. included in your uh, your library card. And the next one I'll talk about is then if you maybe even want to, um, and I consider this, I consider this a, a, a language, sign language. Yes, actually some of our staff is learning sign That's language That's what right made now. me think of mm -hmm. it. Um, the Gale courses, 
they have the sign language, so you could learn sign language. And I know Miss Diane is doing it. I yeah. would love to do I'm that. Do I only knew, know a couple of things, but more and more kids are learning it, and I love it. And it's offered every like 12 weeks or so. And it's that, again, it is free. Free. And the Kale courses also teachers offer free Act 48 classes. Yes. So if you need your Act 48 hours, you can get them for free. For free. From Why? the library. Exactly. Online, uh, too, so at your own pace. And for like teens or young adults and stuff, they um, prepping for exams, mm -hmm. yep, like you know, the TMATs, all that. And just to reiterate what Shannon said, these run for six weeks. And they run the class runs for six weeks. They're highly, really, really interactive, and um, but they start once a month. Yeah. So I mean, you know, it still starts like one will start in January, one will start in February, and it'll still run for six weeks though. So the next round starts in January. I was kind of looking at them. So okay, those are my two to start with. So go ahead, your turn. I just have a book. Yeah, that's you're allowed. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, what, what's going on? Yeah. Okay. No, so, I'm just, I, this is what I'm sharing this time. Well, okay, so since we're being inspirational, I'll share these. Okay. We got these, these, and I put them in the teen collection, but they're kind of, these are like the kind, and it's also since, depending on when this airs, or, you know, if you have a last minute gift for a Star Wars fan, these are cute gift books. Okay. Of course, we want you to read them here at the library, but, you know, get a sneak peek at the library, and then if you want to give it as a gift. This one's called Be More Yoda, mm -hmm. Mindful Thinking from a Galaxy Far, Far Away, and this one's Be More Vader, Assertive Thinking from the Dark Side. Oh. And so they're super cute. They're like little, I those books that you like give as gifts, like little, just like, not like a story, but little thoughts. Yeah. Know? So seeking mindfulness, um, free your mind from distractions, focus your thoughts. And here I have a little Yoda, Yodaism for okay. you. Okay. Always with you, it cannot be done. Hear you nothing that I say? Cute. <laughs> So these are super cute Aww, um, Star I Wars. Liked him too. Star, yeah, everybody likes Yoda. Star Wars books, truly wonderful. The mind of a of a child is says Yoda. So mm -hmm. really cute little. And then it gives you like some information and stuff about it. But they're they're really cute and photographs from all the from all the movies. So for all of our Star Wars fans, this be more Yoda and be more Vader. Really really cute. That's adorable. Quick little reads, inspirational little reads, food for thought. Um, you know. That's really cool. I have someone that in mind with that, actually. Yep. So there you go. How do we? Uh, we talk a lot. How do we have like ten seconds left? I don't know. We talk a lot. I know, but it's fun. <laughs> it goes fast. This is like the fastest us. half hour of the week. I know it is. <laughs> it is the fastest half hour. So what should we end on a positive note? Yes. All right. Do you have a New Year's resolution? No. Me neither. Kind of. Well, I always have the same ones, but. How about we'll just keep on going, keep promoting the library, keep on having fun. Yeah, keep on having fun. Be more Yoda. Be more, be more Yoda and be more Vader. Ooh, dark side. I Is don't that know. dark? Yeah. All I'm right, going to go be for Yoda. All right, I'll be more Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need a challenge. Yeah, there you All go. Right. Go for See the dark for part side. Two. <laughs>